Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. So last month, headlines were going crazy when Nicole Murphy was spotted kissing famed film director Antoine Fuqua. You may remember him from his directorial credits for movies like Training Day, Brooklyn's Finest, The Equalizer, the list goes on. The guy is pretty brilliant when it comes to his film game. Well, another game that's going pretty strong for him is his cheat game. Yes, child, he's definitely not a part of the black men don't cheat movement. As a matter of fact, he's a part of the cheat till they Weep movement. Now, Antoine is married to the beautiful Leela Rashawn, and they've been married for 20 years. As a matter of fact, he isn't new to this cheating scandal, but because the two are rarely in the spotlight, a lot of his cheating past has been hush hush to the public. Although word has been swirling around these Hollywood streets for years. Now, your boy Antoine has not been faithful to his wife. Now, let me get into his wife for a moment before we break down his checkered past. Now, Layla Rashawn has always been a beautiful woman i've heard so many nasty and rude things being said about her weight people criticizing her weight as to say she would have kept him had she not gained weight shame on you sis is 55 and still a baddie in my eyes from a woman who's gone through depression and low self-esteem at one point you have no clue what's going on with the person whether it be health issues depression or just age catching up with us y'all better leave her alone now that that's clear let's get into her rise to fame and let me explain how they met and then we will get to where she stands with their marriage today now your girl Layla Rashawn is best known for her role as Robin Stokes in the 19th 1995 romantic drama waiting to exhale robin robin so robin robin it's locked troy you better be more careful who you pick up in grocery stores next time troy take your drunk ass leather wearing in the summertime need a shave stinky ass home now even before that movie she was in some classics like harlem nights boomerang why do fools fall in love and many more so many people were so captivated by her beauty and not only that she was also a great actress so sis was and still is a baddie now she met her husband in hong kong she says there was a beautiful celebration and we met at a party in hong kong it was pretty much love at first sight we went on a really really long date all over the island went to parties because over there they sleep by day and party all night it's pretty unbelievable but we ended up naming our daughter asia as corny as that is these are her words not mine now the couple ended up getting married in 1999 shortly after that leela suffered a miscarriage but afterwards they successfully had two children antoine already had another child from a previous relationship okay so in 1999 which was the same year that he married leela he went to toronto to film a movie called bait and while he was filming the movie he allegedly had relations with the bartender at a night club called fluid now sources say the girl became pregnant just after one encounter and her friends was like get your money sis because he already had movies under his belt well she didn't go through with the pregnancy and he didn't have to pay a dime because of the free health care in canada well a few years after that he cheated again okay so he's still putting out movies and things but a big blockbuster of his comes out and that's training day you know denzel won an oscar for it where a few years after that he meets this woman named ruth jimenez he and ruth have a son named roman now he was ordered to pay ten thousand dollars a month in child support he went to the judge complaining i don't have that much i got kicked off a of production for the movie american gangster i got liens out against me and i'ma tell y'all homeboy wasn't lying he had a ton of liens out against him y'all know i got my receipt go ahead and cue the music Antoine obviously came into way more money than he expected to come into and he obviously did not have anyone handling his finances the way they should have been handling or either he had the wrong person handling his finances. He ended up with so many judgments and hundreds of thousands of dollars in tax liens. Antoine tried to use all of this as a deterrent to keep from having to pay Ruth the $10,000 a month in child support, requesting that the judge lower the amount to a little over $3,800. So with all of that going going on you'd think he'd learn his lesson a very expensive lesson at that right 
And you see, the crazy part about it is usually when you come into that kind of money and you don't have the proper people teaching you how to properly funnel that money into the right corporations to lower your tax debt. Instead, Antoine is over here lowering his draws. His money is getting messed up. He lost homes left and right. Money was just decreasing. Things were looking bad for your boy. Well, it didn't teach him a lesson and he ended up allegedly getting another woman pregnant. Okay, so there was a model from London that said she met Antoine Fuqua through a man named Scott Stone. Steindorf. She said that he was in talks with Fuqua to direct the Pablo Escobar movie. She said, I had a brief affair with the man while at his property slash office in Venice Beach. I witnessed a woman attacking him over the daughter she has that he is the father of and doesn't see nor pay for. She kept screaming and threatening to tell his wife and got even more ghetto when she discovered I was upstairs in the bedroom of the property. She was straight up ghetto, ripped his shirt off and got a few swipes in. After he got rid of her, he said, I asked her once bareback and now she had a kid for me Antoine ran home super stressed because she was going to call or contact his wife so obviously since 1999 there's been three pregnancies that do not include Leela and one of those pregnancies have been confirmed because he's paying child support for the child so y'all with all of this going on over the years Leela's weight has changed and I highly doubt it has anything to do with anything but stress so in my eyes, I'm like, girl, is it that good? Child, well, obviously it is because in 2003, Leela was involved in a lawsuit with her husband and his side chick who he dated for 10 months. Now he told his side chick, Tanya Evans, that she would wind up missing like Chandra Levy if his wife found out about their relationship. Now Fuqua had her arrested for stalking, but she was let go because of lack of evidence. Now she stood trial on one count of making harassing phone calls, but was later acquitted by the jury. Now Evans stated that months after she began seeing Fuqua, she would receive hangups and other disturbing phone calls. Now, this was back in the day of pagers and she said that she responded to a page that she received and she eventually traced the number back to another woman who was having an affair with Fuqua. Now these women had a woman to woman moment honey and they figured out that Leela used Antoine's cell phone records to connect them. Now sis was trying to get all of the side chicks to fall out and leave him alone instead of her just leaving him herself. Now that brings us to Nicole Murphy. Nicole Murphy was spotted kissing on married Antoine Fuqua last month. Now it's not like like Nicole hasn't been allegedly around the block a few times. Sis honestly needs to be somewhere knitting. She's a whole grandmother now. Grandma, where is your scooter? Where is your scooter? Where is it? Well, word has it that she was scoot scooting with Antoine. And while Leela was able to keep the other affairs out of the public's eye, we are now in the day and age of social media. And sis ended up deleting her Instagram and her Twitter accounts. Now, no word from Leela up until three days ago when she made her first public appearance since her husband was spotted kissing Nicole Murphy. Now, she showed up to the premiere of the own series, David Makes Man, of which she has an occurring role on. And sis is proudly wearing her wedding ring now her husband should have been there with her supporting her as she has with all of his films however that probably would have taken the attention off of the premiere and placed it more on them now considering the side babies the arrest and lord knows whatever is happening in their home sis doesn't seem to be going anywhere and it doesn't seem like she doesn't have the money to be able to leave because when you look at her net worth as well as the movies that she's done and the roles that she continues to get she should be able to live comfortably and the way Antoine goes around threatening the women that threaten to tell his wife, I highly doubt that they're in an open relationship. However, I do think that Antoine has a problem and he's not going to stop. And I think whatever has happened within Leela, she has low self-esteem or something right now that is not allowing her to say, you know what, I deserve better than this. I'm going to tell you what somebody told me before. What you can tolerate, you can't change. If she's willing to tolerate it, he's not going to change and she can't change him. It is what it is. What I need you guys to do is leave a comment. Tell me what you think about everything that's going on with Leela Rashawn, Antoine Fuqua, and Leela deciding to stay with this man regardless of everything that she's going through. Leave a comment and y'all know how we do. We're going to talk about it down below talk to you guys later bye now before I end this video I want to tell you about a company called ash kicking now you know your girl Chronicles would not promote a company without doing one of those thorough Chronicle speaks investigations honey and ash kicking definitely passed the test y'all make sure to check out ashkicking.com for one of the best hundred percent natural home fragrance and beauty products honey and use my code Chronicles at checkout for an extra 15% off just for you
Also make sure to check out X Moisture, which is a 100% organic moisturizer that destroys all your skin problems. Eczema, dry skin, rosacea, you name it, they got you covered. They also have before and after pictures. Check them out at www.xmoisture.com. And tell them your girl Chronicles sent you. And before you go, don't forget to hit the bell for notifications, like this video, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.